Hi everyone, it's Lizzie Babes. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I got an unbagging unboxing that I got. I'm not going to name the store because if I name the store, I'm going to butcher it. I will put it at the beginning of the video in my intro, the name of the store because I can't pronounce it. It's probably the way I pronounce it is probably wrong. So this is one I got that I don't really like to do, but I got a request to do some like this. So I bought some. I bought this on July 4th. It was shipped on July 5th. I received it on July 23rd. It took 18 days to get here. I paid $3.85 each. There's two of them in here. Canadian, which equals out to $2.93 US money. So combined, I paid $7.70 Canadian, which equals out to $5.86 American. Wow, there's not very many colors in this at all. I could probably do one of these up right away. There's like 10 colors. So I got the special gems and it's partial. And you know how much I love partials. Oh, I thought there would be a lot more detail in this picture than what there is. Kind of bummed out a little. It says it's a 30 by 30. There's no way this is a 30 by 30. That's a measuring tape. Maybe 30 by 30 a canvas. Yeah, 30 by 30 the size of the canvas. The actual picture is 20, almost 24 by probably almost 24. By 24, yeah. So that's kind of a bummer. Here are the gems. Comes with boat with no funnel, some wax, a gel pen with no placers. Obviously, I didn't think there would be and a few bags inside. And I don't know how to open this. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to open this up. Oh, look at these little cute little flowers. That's number 10. Oh yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten bags, so I'm assuming they're all here. Yep, they're all here. Well, they're, they're pretty colors. Well, what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to do this in like a little side video 
of just doing special gems because it is so small I could probably whip this out in one session I just don't like how it's wrinkled I hate it when they come in these bags folded so I think I'm gonna flatten it out for a while because I don't have an iron Not that I really care if there's wrinkles in it, but I'm going to flatten it under something for a day so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to put these back in the bag so I don't get the next step. So that was kind of disappointing. I thought there'd be a lot more detail to this picture when I saw it on AliExpress. But it's still cute. I still like it. I still like it a lot. Put it up closer to the camera. I know I have it on a weird angle. So put that one off to the side. The second one I got his special gems too. And it's just this small. It's not a 30 by 30. It also has 10 colors. This is another one I can whip out. really quickly this one looks like it has a little bit more gems in it six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These ones don't have really any cool shapes like the other ones. Just these ones are different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back probably the next day, but it won't seem like the next day to you. And I'm going to do one of these up. I'm thinking I'm going to do this one because I really want to see it, how it turns out. So I'll see you when I come back. Hi everyone, it's Lizzie Babes. I am back for the second part. It's the next day. I had this on and then under a whole bunch of books. It took out some of the wrinkles, but not quite all of it, but I'm not too worried about it. But we're gonna work on the girl on the bike, because I think she's so cute. And I am just gonna take the whole film off, because I hate that. And I'm going to flip her around this way because I think I'm going to start with the sun. I don't know why I keep on burping. But I'm just going to cut them and go as I go because there's not very many of these. I should have brought a baby to put him in after. I wasn't thinking, now was I? Mm. 
But I'm going to start with three, which is the X, which is the sun. I'm going to start with that one. Oh, I guess I can't do that because that's sticky. Ooh, almost did a boo boo. I almost did a boo boo. Not used to working on partials anymore because I tend not to do them. And the only thing that bothers me about partials is I feel like I have to be super straight when I'm doing it. But I don't really like these rhinestones, but maybe you guys will get them growing on me. I'm thinking about doing a Wednesday segment, trying to fill up my channel, and it is going to be of these rhinestones. So I'll always be working on one rhinestone picture. Um, and I know if I don't get it off of AliExpress, I can pick it up at the Pink Raspberry because she has some there. I could do another segment with the keychain because I haven't done them since the last one I did. So I could work on them too. And I think Wednesday is going to be all about these special drills. I like to find on AliExpress, I know there's one place you can get a whole painting with special drills. That isn't a partial. Maybe I should look into that. I'll have to look back at someone's video to see where they got it from. Oh, that was the wrong way, Liz. So I'll do that. So it's like super early in the morning. It is like, I don't even know. Oh, it's five already, 5.01. Oh, I guess it's already 5.01. I woke up at three, but I started listening to True Crime Garage because you can all know if you follow me that I love True Crime Garage. And they came out with a new episode and I apologize because Gigi is snoring on the couch. Both Gigi and Lola are sleeping on the couch beside me. And Gigi is being extra noisy. <laughs> he likes to snore. It's too early for them. Usually they like when I wake up for work and I get ready for work, they know, oh, mom's going to work. I'm just going to still sleep away after she leaves. And it's a curse on my days off. I wake up at the same time. But last night I did fall asleep on the couch. I woke up on the couch. So I was watching TV and I passed out. <laughs> Excuse me while I was watching TV. I don't know. I don't know. Gigi. So I apologize for his snoring. This video might put you guys to sleep because Gigi's snoring. Gigi. Gigi. Woohoo. Quit snoring. Yeah, I'm talking to you. He looks like a bear right now. Because he needs a haircut. Oh, dear. Yeah, you need a haircut. Can't even see your eyes. He looks like a big old teddy bear. 
I have to get his hair cut before he gets all mad. And that's the only part about getting dogs that are, are like Gigi and Rolla. If you don't get their hair cut, their hair gets all matted. And then it looks horrible. And I try to get it, their hair cut before it turns out being matted, but sometimes they don't get there in time. Because the girl I go see, she's always so busy. I can't just call and say, oh, can I bring her in tomorrow? No, because it's usually a week before I can get them in to see her. And I don't think she does the best job in town, but she's the cheapest. I went to one place, they do a really good job, but they're super more expensive. And I'm not about that life. I love my dogs, but I don't want to pay $140 to get their hair cut. The other girl charges me 90 bucks, no matter what. So I go to her, even though I think the other people may do a better job, well, tent's probably why you pay more money, right? But I don't think she does a horrible job. She does okay, but sometimes I feel like she could go a little shorter in some places that she doesn't. But it's near there, and there's a little sign. She's in La La Land as well. I don't know how we got into talking about haircut. Oh yeah, because Gigi's snoring. He seems to be quiet now though. If he doesn't be quiet, I'll put him in the bedroom. He can go sleep on his bed in there and snore away in my room but yeah so I'm thinking about Wednesdays it being all about these gems now should I do it just with music background and fast forward, or should I just do it like this, where I'm talking? You guys let me know in the comments below of which one you would prefer. Because either way, I could do it both ways. Sometimes I like watching those videos, but sometimes I like to hear the person talking while I diamond paint. Of course, I don't really think I'd like to hear a dog snoring. But do you think I'm going straight? This is the one thing I hate about partials. Is I feel like you can go cricket with them. Well, I'm not one for partial. I've, I'm one like, if I'm going to pay money for something, I want the full effect. Not just a part effect. But it does look pretty cool with those sparkles, eh? I think, anyway. I'm kind of disappointed on the size of this is not true to size but I should have known I should have known it wasn't yeah the sun's done now is there anywhere else that takes an X yep over here on her hair You know me, I'll probably miss stuff. 
There's the mixture like that. Oh boy. I'm going to pause and send Gigi somewhere else because this is ridiculous. All right, I'm back. Gigi is in the bedroom and Lola followed. So Lola's in there with him. She's on my bed and Gigi's in his bed. And they could snore away in there. Oh, there's like, I kind of move it. I don't have my light pad on. Cause I figure I could probably see without it. Sorry about the lighting, but it is five o'clock in the morning because I wanted to get this out for today because I want to make Wednesday special gems day but I don't know what I want to call it yet I'll have to brainstorm a little bit and I'm going to flip it now Flip, flip, flip. See if I got any more X's than I do. I have one right here, and one right. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I know how to get a little bit more out of the bag. So I see a few more. There's one on the bike wheel. So there's a couple. I thought this picture was pretty, but sometimes they're deceiving when you look at them on AliExpress. But I don't find it too bad. Diamond. Oh, that's that one's a dud. So yesterday I took the day off work because I had to go see the surgeon. And now I only have to go back in a year from now. So next July. So I'm super happy about that. He did give me some cream that I have to apply, but he said till the tube's gone and then I should be fine. Cause it's still a little tender in some spots. But other than that, I may okay. with it. So I think I got all the X's. You know me, I'll put my gems away and I'll find one, but I can't seem to find it for the life of me while I'm here. So let's see. Now how to put them back in the bag. This is a million dollar question. I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna put that one off to the side because I've already done it. What should I do next? I think I'm gonna do tea. 
because there seems to be a lot of them and that's number six. So it's this pretty blue iridescent kind of color that kind of sparkles different colors in the light. Very pretty. Do this one next. Whoa. Okay, that was more than I was anticipating to come out. Oh, I think I need a lot more sticky, sticky tack on that one. Like, I wish like most of the, like more of the butterflies would have a sparkle to them, but they don't. You know what I mean? But I'm thinking I could do this whole picture, but really it does take, it is time consuming. So maybe we'll do two segments of this or maybe I'll just finish it on my own. And the next one we'll do the other one. The other one I know has a lot more gems to it than this one. Look at how pretty the flowers are. Here's some sparkle. Uh -oh. The only other kind of picture I've done with these is that owl, my very first one. And I found that I went really crooked on it with my lines. But it was my first diamond painting, so come on guys. You gotta give me a little bit of shellac. Shellac on it. But I really like this color. So when I was driving, okay, back to my topic of my trip to London. Gas right now. I should have went and got gas. Monday after work, because it was one eleven nine or something. And I'm like, oh, it's gone down. And I'm like, oh, I can't go that much higher by tomorrow. Yeah, morning, one nineteen nine. I was like, darn it. Should have went Monday night. And now the train's going by. No horn yet. Not till six in the morning. So, I was kind of upset about that. So, oh, I don't have my calculator out here. I was going to do the math. I'm not good at math in my head. That I'm good at math, but not that good. I was going to figure out how much that would be in a gallon. I'm not sure how much a gallon is in the States right now, but it's one, one nineteen nine for one liter, which equals out to four gallon, four liters equals one gallon. So your price is higher, but you're actually getting four liters and we're only getting one liter for our price. So yeah, kind of, like I think when I went to the States once, this was a while back when I had my other car, it would be something ridiculous like nine something to fill my car <laughs> as if it would be thirty dollars in Canada yeah oh boy that is not right did you guys all see that I messed up I'm pretty sure that one is though that one's right woohoo I almost did a boo boo I almost did a boo-boo. Okay. 
Let's do the old switcher flipperoo. Flipperoo, flipperoo. We're gonna flipperoo around. I think she's very pretty. Wish I was skinny as her. So, <laughs> that's one thing the doctor said to me. He's like, well, you know, you could go for a tummy tuck, but you're going to have to lose some weight before you get the tummy tuck. Because the tummy tuck is considered cosmetic in Canada. So, oh, hip won't cover. But if you have children, oh, hip will cover a tummy tuck. So, but you have to lose some weight, he said. Because where they did the incision for my bladder, where they took the tissue from my stomach, now, because I don't have a flat stomach, it bothers me. The incision there, and it's like, super like it gets sweaty and like I just don't like it I don't like how they why would they do an incision there is beyond me but yeah I probably wouldn't be able to lose enough weight I know I had a friend that got it done and this scar from that is like super huge on your stomach But, yeah, if I was probably to lose a little bit more, I probably wouldn't care. It's just so hard to lose weight. Uh-oh, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back in this bag. I have a very hard struggle with weight loss. I did lose a little bit of weight there. I think I gained some of it back. Well, I know I gained some of it back. When I started the new pills, and then I was on a diet with the girls at work, and then the other girls pretty much gave up, so I pretty much gave up with it. And I shouldn't have, but I did. My, my biggest downfall in dieting is bread. I love bread and you should only technically when you're a diabetic eat two pieces of bread a day and let's face it when you when you don't have very much money to buy groceries and stuff what do you always tend to do you eat pastas and you eat bread and that's the two worst things that you could possibly eat and especially when you're a diabetic. Which one's A? Oh, four. I'm gonna do A next. Ooh, these are pretty too. I'm gonna do these ones next. I'm gonna do this one next. If you see that my videos kind of like pause in between, it's because I turn it off and I vape and I think, and I vape. Oh, my neighbor's going to work. See how loud? You can hear everything in this house. I swear I live in a box. I live in a cardboard box. <laughs> I live in a cardboard box on the street and I don't know how I get my internet, but I do. No, I'm just joking, but you can hear everything. Tense why you think they probably hear me talking. Sometimes when I get up for work, he scares me out there because it's so dark out there. It's still dark outside. 
when I, because I leave for work at this time too. Well, actually, it's kind of late for me. He's late this morning. Sometimes he's out there when I leave for work. I usually leave around five. And I catch <clears throat> to go to Timmy's. Because you can't start your day without Timmy's. Like, come on. It's very important when you're a Canadian. It's getting you to Timmy's. There he goes. He's off. He's off for the races for the day. I wouldn't want his job. He's, he works outside, I think, construction. Not the type of job I'd want at this time of year. I think that's what he does. I know he works some kind of construction. Boy, your head's very sparkly. Very sparkly. Oop, her boob. Boob's very sparkly. <sighs> the drive to London wasn't too bad. I thought there would be a lot more construction on the 402, but there wasn't. It was pretty good. It was when I got into London. Wonderland. Not Wonderland. I'm lying. Wellington has severe construction going on. So it was backed up and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be late. But... I wasn't late because I left at good time and I got there I got in pretty good quite fast actually which I was surprised because the last time I think I waited two hours it was backed up that day okay I'm gonna flip her around again flip her flip her bottom of the ace. Then I came to town, went to the pharmacy. And I don't know what they did, but the last time they gave me my diabetic pills, they didn't give me enough. And he's like, well, the package, because it comes in like the blister packs, the one medication I have. And they're trying to tell me I still have 11 left and I'm trying to tell them I don't. And I'm like, I don't take more than what I'm supposed to. I take one a day. He's like, well, are you sure you didn't put it like in a traveling pack? I'm like, no. I think I would know if I put it in a traveling pack. He's like trying to dispute that I'm wrong. I'm trying to tell him I'm not wrong, unless I lost one of the blister packs, which could be possible too, but I looked everywhere and I don't see it. And it's not like I just like pills lying around my house. Not that anybody would want to take them unless they want to get low sugar. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's not a narcotic. They're so stipulant sometimes about refilling your medication before the time they think is allotted. Oh, the birdies are singing now outside. Yesterday was actually the coolest day of the summer in a while now. We've had such a heat wave in Canada. It's ridiculous. You go from extreme cold to a heat wave. It was redonkulous. Like our igloos were melting. 
I made that joke to my daughter because some people think we actually live in igloos in Canada. Some people that don't really have know much about Canada actually think we live in igloos, which I think is funny because we don't. If we did, they would be surely melted. Maybe that's why you can hear outside, eh? Yeah, maybe that's why <laughs> my igloo melted. Oh, just joking. But honestly, seriously, some people think we live in igloos. Of course, this last winter, it was so cold outside, you probably could build an igloo and lived in it. That polar bear vortex, oh my dear, that was horrible. Horrible, and my pipes froze on my tub. And I had to put a heater on the tub to thaw out the lines. Because the only room that isn't insulated, which I don't even understand why this is, is where all the pipes go up to the bathroom. So that room gets super cold in the winter. Tents why the bathroom gets super cold. And in the summertime, it's super hot. There goes the fridge. It ain't one thing, it's the next in this house. Oh, I missed an A. It was A4. Darn it. Oh, and I missed a T. I missed two T's. You guys, why aren't you guys telling me this? Ah. The struggles of being Liz. Oh, there's another one. The struggles of being Liz. That's it. I need to make an eye doctor's appointment because clearly I can't see. Clearly I cannot see very well. What was T again? Six. This one. I see a T. I see two T's. One up here that you probably can't see. So, you guys are safe. You guys can see that one, but you can see this one right there. I don't know if you can see the letters. So I'm probably yelling at you guys and you guys can't even see them. Okay. Now, oh no, another T. Ah. Okay, now I'm starting to get mad. Man at myself. So yesterday, oh, yesterday I got three packages in the mail. Got this one, obviously. And I got, where did I see that tea? Right here. And I got two other diamond paintings that I'll have one more unboxing this week because Friday is, thank goodness it's Friday. I don't know what I'm going to talk about because I'm talking to you now, so I don't know. Maybe something exciting will happen from today until Friday. Well, till tomorrow because really I have to tape it tomorrow because I work Friday. <laughs> yes, that's me crying because I got to go to work. Okay, this has got to be H. Yep. 
This is H. I actually don't have any more containers. That's why I'm working out of the bags. Because my sister kitted up using those crappy containers that I have from China. The ones that you get, they look like little tic, no, they're not the Tic Tac containers. The Tic Tac containers are actually lent out too. All my containers are lent out. My niece has those ones for her custom, which I want back when she's done that custom. As I even haven't been able to use them yet. She says she doesn't mind them. So she has her stuff kitted up in that. My sister has my other containers, the 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 four, the little rows of four that look like little pill containers. The twenty-eight in a box. She has that one. See, now I'm yawning because I wake up too early. She has that one. And then all I have right now is my Harbor Freight, which has the Climax picture. And then I have my Craft Mates, but it has the custom in it, which I'm getting pretty I'm about halfway with the custom. I've been trying to work on it hard. That's why I don't see very much happening on the Climax pictures because I've been working on that custom because I just want to get it out of the way because once I get it out of the way, I like, can concentrate on stuff for my channel. I did send away a picture of a custom I want done at the Pink Raspberry. It's not of anybody, it's a scenery custom of a pitcher. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you will see it when I get it from the pink raspberry. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. That's what I call it. Love it. I wonder how R Rambling Rose is doing with her picture that she got from there. My custom is turning out pretty good. It was the first one printed. The first one, I'm saying the first one I got printed from them. When I say the first one, that's what I mean. The first one that I have that's been printed here in Canada. That's the very first one. The rest of the other ones that I have done from there have come from their supplier. Which this last supplier she went through with is actually pretty good. I really like them. Okay, I'm gonna do the old flipperoo. The old flipperoo. Flip her around again. Maybe I should cut the video off so I don't have too long of a video. And then I will finish her off on my own. I kind of wanted to do. No, okay. We will do. The special pretty ones and then I'll cut it off. H is fine. That will be the next one I do. And then we'll cut this video short so it's not too long of a video. I've been actually saying that my unboxings and my review on that last painting I did 
has my most views. The Lipin Chats don't seem to get as many views. Which, come on people, I'm quite interesting. I make you laugh. On Friday's episode, I'm going to give a shout out to one of my subscribers. So, if you want to know who it is, watch Thank Goodness is Friday because I am going to shout her out on that video. She doesn't have a channel as far as I know. That will happen on Friday. Okay. Now. Now I'm going to do the special ones on the bottom. Then I'm going to cut this video to an end. And then I'll probably finish it and do a post review on it when I'm done to go up next week. So I really want to do these ones. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? How do you pick it up? You gotta pick it up kind of like on one of the petals or it doesn't pick up with your pen. Oh my God, those are so cute. Love, 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 love. Look at that. So cute. That's the thing about these special gems, right? They can do special shapes like this because it's a partial. So cute. So there you have it. I did the majority of it. <clears throat> I'm going to finish this up. Probably the rest of this morning. And then I'll have it done to do a post review on it. Oh, wait. I see one more K. Oops. I did it upside down. That one looks like it's. Oh, I dropped it again. That one looks like it's cracked right there. I don't know. There's the camera head. Can you see that? I don't know if it's going to focus on the one petal right there. Or is it there? Ah, it's not focusing very well. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like a crack. There you have it. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to know when I'm going to put up some videos, please hit the notification bell. And if you like, subscribe to my channel. I'd be tickle pink. And I just hope everybody has a wonderful hump day. And see you next time. Bye.